it starts, I am stating that I will be covering the most important species of human evolution. And I also want to thank everybody that watched my first video. In just 7 hours, I got 11 subscribers and 52 views. That's pretty good. So without further ado, let's talk about the dangerous subject, humans. Humans are primates in the class Hominidae. The earliest humans in the fossil record lived between 3.9 and 2.9 million years ago, as the hominid Australopithecus afrensis, in the Pliocene of East Africa. The first fossils were discovered in the 1930s, but major fossil finds will not be discovered until the 1970s, such as with the fossil of AL288-1, most commonly known as Lucy, which is found 40% intact and was estimated to be the earliest Australopithecus on record, living about 3.2 million years ago, which means that it lived during parts of the Pliocene and Pleistocene epochs. What made Australopithecus a hominid was its cranial vault, which was slightly domed, its 400 cubic centimeter brain size, with the size of pensees, and its opposable thumbs. It also has small canine teeth and a body that stood on two legs that regularly walked upright. The diet of this early human consisted of leaves, fruits, seeds, roots, nuts, insects, and probably the occasional small vertebrates like lizards. Australopithecus was an edge species, which means that they could live in trees and on ground, and were potential prey to other animals. Sadly, the number of Australopithecus started to go down when the Pliocene era ended, probably due to its cooling climate or other early human species. It's not known that if Australopithecus evolved into humans or if they went extinct altogether, but most paleoanthropologists think that some evolved into early humans. The next major species in human evolution was Homo habilis, which had a slightly bigger brain size of 500 to 800 cubic centimeters, more vertical face of the snout, fingers that had a more precise grip, and most importantly, they were the first species to make stone tools. The earliest stone tools on record were created about 2.6 million years ago, and were used to cut meat, scrape hides, and crush bone to help with scavenging their food, or hunting small prey. Most of the species Homo habilis went extinct about 1 to 2 million years ago, because they didn't change their technology which caused their close relatives Homo erectus to beat them in every way. Homo erectus was a much more advanced relative of Homo habilis, appearing 2 million years ago. They were fully upright and their brain size ranged from 650 to 1,200 cubic centimeters, with a more lean face and shorter arms with longer legs, making them look more like humans. According to recent studies, they were not as active as other hominins, and were more laid back to adapting to the environment. They also had more sophisticated tools such as axes, sharper cutters, cleavers, and scrapers. Homo erectus was the first species of hominids to leave Africa to travel to North America and to Asia around 1.75 million years ago, just because they wanted to. This shows how much potential and bravery they had, and they were the first hominids to cook food with fire around 1.7 to 2 million years ago. After all their success, Homo erectus went extinct 50,000 to 100,000 years ago because they used the least effort strategies to make tools and scavenge, and then they grew up to their full potential. But some that migrated to North America and Asia evolved into Homo neanderthals, and some in Africa evolved into Homo sapiens. But I'll talk about humans in another video. For now, I'll talk about Neanderthals. Neanderthals were in a way more advanced than humans. With a brain size of 1,410 cubic centimeters on average and bulkier bodies with stronger bones, used to survive hard hits from animals. They were strong and usually hunted face to face with fierce mammoths and rhinos, running up to their prey with sharp spears and using force weapons instead of projectiles. Again, Neanderthals lived from 400,000 to 40,000 years ago during the Pleistocene Epoch, a very cold time, so they learned how to make clothing and had big noses to warm the air they breathed. Neanderthals also had more sophisticated weapons, such as stronger axes, stronger knives, and they invented spears about 250,000 years ago. They were the first to make weapons out of bone, 
mourned her dead, and even used toothpicks to clean her teeth. They also had a simple language and frequently painted hunt scenes, hands, and symbols. Sadly, when hopeless Indians migrated over to their territory, they started to die out, because the cerebrum of Homo sapiens proportion larger than Neanderthals, causing them to learn easier. The Neanderthals then couldn't cope with the competition of the Homo sapiens. But some few Neanderthals partnered up with Homo sapiens, letting them to learn and evolve with them. 